Pool is a popular table game that can be played by anyone. The premise of the game is simple. Players must attempt to pocket all of their balls until only the black ball remains, which they then must pocket in order to win. The process of pocketing balls involves applying an external force, referred to as inertia, to the white ball, which in doing so will create the initial velocity and momentum of the object. The speed of the initial velocity and momentum will be entirely dependent on how hard the player hits the white ball. The initial momentum of the white ball will then be conserved through to the ball being hit, which will then give that ball in question an increase in momentum, displacing it from its stationary position. This reaction of momentum being converted from one object to another can be described as the law of the conservation of momentum. Here's a closer look at the demonstration of momentum conservation between the two pool balls. Here we can see that the inertia applied to the white ball was somewhat light, meaning a relatively light velocity and momentum for the white ball. We then see it travel a couple of centimeters until colliding with the stationary black ball. As a result of collision, the white ball loses most of its mom initial momentum, coming to a complete stop within a relatively short amount of time after collision. However, complementary to this loss in momentum there is gain, with the black ball gaining a significant amount of men uh, momentum and traveling a large distance. From this we can see that the original momentum of the white ball has been effectively conserved to the black ball, which when adding the final momentums of each ball should be similar to the initial momentum that the white ball was traveling at. However, it's important to consider that not all momentum can be conserved due to environmental factors such as the friction of the table, which results in the loss of static and kinetic energy. Overall, pool is a great sport to visually demonstrate the conservation of momentum due to its dependence on this law of motion.